This is Linda Jennings and uh, this is Backyard Biodiversity. And so here's a fern I really want you to know that you might run across on one of your local walks in the edge of the forest here in Vancouver. So this particular plant is deer fern. And I love deer fern and there's two things I want you to know about it. So the way to learn a plant is to learn a few things that you'll always remember that are really fairly unique to that. So this particular fern, two of the things that are pretty unique with it is one, it's an evergreen fern. Many of our ferns up here, they go down back into the ground so they're deciduous. But this particular fern happens to photosynthesize over the winter. The other cool thing about this fern is it's got dimorphic leaves or dimorphic fronds. And so dimorphic just means that there's two different looks, but also there are two different mechanisms. There's two different functions going on for these leaves. So I'm gonna show you a little more closely here, but one right here that's unfurling, this particular one is the vegetative. So this is gonna photosynthesize this year for this plant so that it can bring the food and nutrients to reproduce. And this is last year's photosynthesis frond. So this is overwintered now. And here's the unfurling of these new fronds. And then here is the reproductive frond. So this is completely separated. And that's not usually the case with ferns. Usually they're all in one. So you have the reproductive on the vegetative, but this is dimorphic. So you have two different leaves or two different fronds for two different functions for this particular plant. So that's something that makes this quite unique and hopefully that'll help you remember this beautiful plant, deer fern.